I've been enjoying Honkai Star Rail. I've been playing it off camera quite a bit, and I just got to the second world here, and Honkai Star Rail released an animated short called A Flash about a specific character that appears in their new world. So let's watch it and see what it's all about, shall we? Let's dive right on into this. Link to this video in the description down below. Let's get right on into this. Okay, you got the winds howling. It's a Witcher 3 reference for you all. Okay, you got the, like, shattered... I want to say... So some kind of shattered building here. Suspended in... A sword. A frozen sword. Okay, that's badass. Hello? God, the visual design here so far is so cool. Heed this oath. As clouds that cover the heavens, will the knights protect the Sienjo? Yes, master. Oh, that's the five star I have. I think. Actually, no. Okay, different character. Got it. His sword looks cool, though. It kind of reminds me of Arataki Itos from Genshin, in a way. It's not, but it kind of reminds me of it. With, like, that trim on the outside of it. Ah, uh, did she turn evil or something so it's like student versus the master? The quality here is pretty freaking nice. Like, animation-wise? Dang. Ooh, hold on. Oh, you're about to get outplayed. Oh, the dodge, though? Sees yourself in the reflection. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a mechanic I've been recently introduced to in the in the game as well. Like, they revive themselves once if you kill them. Hey, job done. Just slash them. You must not hold back. So yeah, it's some kind of like disease or infection they get. Where like these vines overtake them. They start to grow leaves. I think it's called like being Mara struck. Their use of color in this video is very impressive. So is she Mara struck or did she just go rogue for whatever reason. I feel bad for the frozen dudes that, that are just, like, there. They just wanted to live their life, but now they have to, like, watch this battle with never being able to move their eyeballs because they're frozen here like a popsicle. He's about to look up and go... Next level. Here we go. He's going Super Saiyan. Let's go. Oh, he's using his ult! He has to have the cleanest looking ult in the game, right? Hello? Ooh! Oh, the giant polearm weapon? Let's go! God! I don't know who designed his visuals when it came to his combat, but my god, they went on another level. He looks like he'd be like an end game boss, right? Like, this is what, like, the Kakolia of this world would do. Okay, that's Yan Qing, I think. One more. There you go. Now, another 10,000. I need you to do more DPS. It's going to turn that up a little bit. So now he has to. Now he's training someone else, Yan Ching. I think I'm mispronouncing his name, but I am trying. God, like I said, the use of lighting, color, it's so impressive here. Yeah, use your ultimate. Right, like a, an ice sword. It's kind of cool. Honkai Star Rail. Okay. 
yeah, if they wanted to make you care about a character immediately, like, like, it's very, like, by the numbers, right? Like, he's a student to a master who succumbs to whatever the mother is. I'm not familiar with what it is yet. I haven't learned that aspect in the story yet. But he has to put her down or fight back because she's trying to... I'm assuming she is the reason all those people were frozen in time with, you know, ice. That was very visually impressive. Fantasia animation. Freaking amazing job, in my opinion. One of the things I really appreciate about this uh, animated short was just the use of its various color palettes and contrasting colors. Like right here, how the rest of the area back here has either very soft reddish pinkish tones or more shades of blue and purple, but his weapon has this very obvious orangey, yellowy tinge. I'm a little bit bad with colors, so apologies there. But it's a very contrast, it's a high contrasting colors overlapping with each other to make these characters and their weapons and their abilities stand out. Very visually impressive. I can't wait to learn more about this guy. I'm half tempted to roll for him. He just, he's just cool, like, right? Like, straight up, he's just a cool guy. And the way his story comes, like, full circle here, with him going from being the student to defeating his master here, to then teaching Yan Cheng here. And, hey, that guy, this guy, Yan Cheng, he's my highest DPS character on my account so far. Clearly, he's doing something right, so I'm just saying. I'm just saying, get that number, get that one here to two, and then we're talking, yeah? And you do twice the damage, that's totally how that works. Never let slip their weapon, nor let slacken their form. <laughs> Though, you'll have to grow a little. God, I gotta admit, this is just a beautiful thing to look at. Like, I wouldn't even mind like seeing a full anime just from this studio, because this was very impressive to me. I really, I really like that. Yeah, I'm more interested in learning more about that character now. So I'm going to call the video there for the day. Thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps channel out and help support future content. And I greatly appreciate it. Stay safe, everybody. Have a great day. Go play some video games if you can. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload in the future. Till we meet again, everybody.